Hey everyone, today's video is about when well, bag of flowers with you. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. Bag wasn't the type of her parties. In fact, Kirshin was the one who dragged Tom to the party on the island. You and Baga were in a relationship, but both of you had mutual feelings for one another. Respectfully, neither of you knew that though. Kirishima had heard you mention your feelings towards Baga multiple times, and Kirishima promised Baga that if he made a move on you, you wouldn't deny him. But Baga couldn't help himself. Frankly, he was a bit worried, which was rare. But tonight was the night of the full formal at UA, and Baga was going. Being bugged by the rest of the Baka squad to go and have fun, what he didn't expect was to see you there. I feel like this isn't my color, he said to Asui, a small frown in your laps. You look gorgeous, are you kidding me? Oraka smiled. He asked for their help and tried to find something to wear for their formal. A smile slowly made its way up to your laps. You looked in the mirror and felt a bit more confident. You did look good. I think Baga will like it. Asui teased. Your cheeks burned red. You'd heard from Deku that Kirishima had managed to get Baga to go. You were now slightly nervous. If we're all done, we should get going. It'll start soon. Uraka commented. You all headed out, making your way toward one of the jumps where the formal was being held. Dude. Coming I nudged Baga's arm. What dunce face? Baga growled. Kirishima's head turned to see where Kaminari was looking. In walked you, wearing a long red, dressed with lace, down the sleeves. He looked stunning. Baga's eyes died across the room, and he went silent. Your eyes met, and your cheeks flushed. You slowly made your way over to the spiky pond, stopping in front of his room. Hey, Katsuki. You smiled. You took the strand of your hair behind your ear. Kaminari and Kurishima chuckled, watching how Baba had gone speechless. You look great, Wyan. Kurishima complimented. Thanks, you guys look great. You added. You fetched with your hands, still waiting in Baba's silence. We'll leave you two alone. Kirishima dragged Kaminari away, leaving you and Baga alone near the drinks. Wow. Baga whispered. What? Is something wrong? You asked. For you had waited for them to run away so you could say something. You look pretty. Baga said in a hushed tone, averting his gaze. You could barely hear him. What? I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. I said you look pretty. Will you shut up and dance with me? Bug raised his voice a little. His cheeks were about as red as your dress. He smiled and nodded. I'd like to dance with you. You accepted his offer. Unwalked with him out to the dance floor. You rested your hands on his shoulders. His hands. Resting on your waist. You look really good, Baga. I don't mind seeing you in sex. You joked. He looked great, and despite his wheeled hair, it suited him. Shh. Bug looked into your eyes and sighed. He was going to do it. He was tired of Kirishima bugging him. He placed his lips to yours and kissed you. It was a little rough at first, but he adjusted. You kissed him back, a small smile forming on your laps. Bug pulled away and looked at you. Guess that was your way of asking me out. You blushed. Of course it was. I was I wasn't supposed to do it. Baga smirked. I don't know, maybe ask me. But I liked your way a lot better. He pulled on his tie, pulling him in for another kiss. You wanted to do that for so long. When he let go, he was once again speechless. You owe me lunch. 
Kaminari nudged Kirishima. Shut up. Kirishima grinned. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. So, mm, last time, uh, there was this time that I kept asking questions or read questions online because, I don't know, I just can't come up with ones for some reason. Questions. Just questions. Questions, not boring to ask someone to know better. Okay. Um, let me see. Let me see, bro. Let me see. What What's your favorite way to spend the day off? Sleeping. What type of music are you into? Pop. What was the best vacation you ever took and why? This year, because I went with my uncle. I mean, because I went with my whole family. Where is the next place on your travel book list and why? South Korea. Because I want to go there with my friends. What are your hobbies and how did you get into them? I don't have one. What was your favorite age growing up? This year. What was the last thing you read? This story. <laughs> Would you say you're more... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, what's the worst gift you've ever received? And what did you do about it? Well, the worst gift I've received. I don't have a worst one. What's the per best concert you've ever been, in, uh, been to? Well, actually, I want to go to a concert. It's really bad. So not yet, at least. Do you have a favorite type of exercise? Nope. What's your favorite content genre? Horror. Who's the best gift, gift, or gift giver in your family? Um, my dad. What's your favorite story about your grandparents? I don't even see them, so I can't say that. Have you ever ma mapped, your, uh, mapped out your family? No. How do you define your family now? I don't really know. Were you close with your family growing up? Yep. Really close. What traits are most important to you and your family members? I don't know. <laughs> Who in your family makes you, feel, makes you feel the safest? My mom. Do you want a family of your own? No. Have you ever been to a family reunion? No. If you could change your relationship with a family member, would you? If so, with who? I don't really know. I don't have a... a... No one. Does your family ever take trips together? Yep. What TV family most reminds you of your own? None. None, actually. Do you and your family have any nicknames for each other? Yeah. Okay, last question. Let's get a good question. Let's find a good one. Uh, have you ever lost a friend? If so, what happened? I did. I don't know. They just blocked me out of nowhere, but okay, I guess. But they were a good friend of mine, but they just... Maybe it was something to do with their family because they had a really truck family and stuff, so... I don't really know, but yeah, it was a long time ago. So it doesn't matter anymore. I have a lot more. Now, I have better friends. Because a true friend would have blocked me, I guess. So, thank you guys for listening. Forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye. Have a great day.